Good morning, everyone. Give me just a minute to get going here on Facebook with my laptop and we'll get started. Well, I hit the wrong thing. There it is. So you're going to hear the... Morning, Jonna. You're going to hear Jim in the background. He's canning tomatoes. So um, hopefully he so, won't be um, saying anything. Presser, presser, there he goes. He's, he's already, but he's not cussed yet. And you're going to hear the conduction cooker going. So... Sorry, you got a little you got a little back feed here today. So we're gonna go on ahead and get started. Let me turn this around. So we have this month being the 35th anniversary, we have a great promotion going on for the starter kits. And the starter kit allows you to do well, number one, it allows you to place orders when the catalogs go first live for anyone other than a customer. And then you also have the opportunity of getting new credit or new product earlier than other people. So I wanted to share with you, this one came in. This is going to be, morning Mary, nice to have you with us. This is from the new holiday, catalog, not the holiday, but the January catalog, the all occasions coming out. And it's going to be one of the Valentine sets. And it's all on bumblebees. Be mine. You're as sweet as honey. I love you no matter what. Happy Valentine's Day. You'll always be the one for me. And then it makes, has a punch that is a bee, um, honey bee builder. So it's got the hearts, the big and the little. It's got the body that coordinates with this. Then you've got the head or you can just put the face here. It's so, so cute. So this is coming out in January, so can't wait. The starter kit promotion is the best deal always in our catalog, and this month it's even better than ever. This month they give you two different options. One is um, order $125 in product and only pay like $68. And that's, that's awesome. And you don't have to pay shipping. You pay just the tax. Uh, normally, it's $125 uh, in product for $99 plus tax. And uh, so this one is 35% more, 35% uh, savings. So it's down to 60-some. It's the ideal way to buy the starter kit. And then the other one is option two is to get 35% more product. So you pay $125, but I think the product that you get is like $168 that you get to pick. These are the best promotion. This one, without a doubt, is the best because starter kit's always a 30% savings. This one is going to give you more. Um, and it gives you the opportunity to order ahead. It gives you the opportunity to order before things go out of stock, and that's the key. I wanted to also share with you a new product that I don't, I think it's a new online exclusive. I have not found it in a catalog and I don't find it anywhere, but you can't find it in the online exclusives. So I haven't figured this out. It's called the Heartfelt Hexagon Punch. And this punch is a whole different shape than what we've had before. Um, it qual it works with all of these greetings. So you've got sending you lots of love and hugs. Let's eat cake, birthday with sincere sympathy. Here, you would have to turn the punch this way. And then it would say, I hope your day is filled with joy, Mr. and Mrs. Which we don't get a lot of wedding ones. So that's a good one too. But it's not found in the online. Exclusive. I can't find it. Where I found it is I go to the bundle savings. There's a tab for all bundles. And then once you come down through that tab, there's another tab that says for 
um, punches and die or stamp sets, punches and stamp sets. And that's where you'll find this hexagon punch. So just keep that in mind. All right. So this is what we're going to make today. I'm into this week. We're going to be doing gift cards and gift card holders. I love this one. And I, in fact, used it. I'm going to show you a different one tomorrow for a get well one that I created. And I will post the um, PDF tomorrow. So it opens up. It holds by that little tab there. And it opens up and you slide your gift card, your check, your money. You know, in my house, money works just as fine. And you have just a little spot that you can write. No, Jim will say it doesn't last as long. But anyhow, we have a little spot here that you can add your greeting. You could go over if you wanted to. You could take off about a fourth of an inch more off the DSP and add a little more white. But I needed to make sure I had it covered so that that, that lip doesn't show. So this is what we're making today, guys. Okay? And I just bent that. So this is from the Sending... Sending cheer bundle. Good deal. So you found it that way. Awesome, Jonna. But for somebody who, um, so you were on the customer site when you found it under there, under the heartfelt hexagon punch, she popped it up right then. So you could find it that way too. This is a um, set of dies that comes with the sending cheer. And I'm going to tell you, I passed on it at first. It wasn't one on my first list. It was, um, I don't know. I don't like, gingerbread are just kind of, I don't know. I don't, I'm not into gingerbread. Some people are. I don't mean to, I don't mind eating it, but I sure don't, I didn't want to make those suckers. And I don't know, maybe it's the music teacher that remembers that that little gingerbread guy was, he was kind of a little snarfy little thing in the song about the gingerbread boy with all the little kids. So I just not into it. But I did finally go back and pick it up because I wanted to have something more whimsical for Christmas. And I love the little hat. The hat and the pieces that go with it, nothing to do with any of the stamps. In fact, several of the items in there, there's a tag... There is a, um, oh, there's gift bag. You don't have to have the stamp set to pick this up. So this is one of those that could almost, almost stand alone, okay? So we're going to go on ahead and get started. Hopefully I have everything I need. I laid it out this morning, and then I have to go to my meeting online. But we got done early today. That was nice. So... We're going to start off here, and I've got all these little pieces and hope that I don't lose them. So let me move those up here. Again, my measurements I will be posting tomorrow on my website for a PDF. All right. Um, this piece here is five and a five and a half. This one here, though, is not. I My first thought was, oh, five and a half, so I just have to score this at two and um, three fourths to get five and a half. It doesn't work that way because if you do, it doesn't lay flat. You're gonna have overlap with everything meeting here on this. So instead I went back and I actually cut it down just to here. So I cut a little part off. So I'm gonna go on ahead and turn this over and this will be my pocket that I'm gonna make. But then I have to turn this again. Because I have this thick section here and I really want it to lay down, I'm going to really score this and crease it down as best I can. Okay. All right. So we're going to start. And I think in my blog today, I think I said I used Granny Apple Green, but I didn't. This is Lemon Lime Twist. I don't use a lot of Lemon Lime Twist. Granny Apple Green would have worked too because it's in the, the lights and things. But I used Lemon Lime Twist. I loved Lemon Lime Twist when it was out here a long time ago as an in color. So I'm going to start with that first. And you know me, I like my mats. So this is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And I'm going to put that right here. Like 
like so. Okay. And then the DSP that I used was Mary Bold and Bright. Again, not one that made my, my um, wish list first thing. But after I thought about it and looked at it, I thought, yeah, maybe I do like that paper. So I like the fa la 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 la. That's the music person. The other thing about it is that if you don't get it all used for Christmas, don't worry. Because it's an awesome pattern paper that you can use for birthdays and other greetings and thank yous later on in the year. So don't worry about, well, I don't know that I can get it all used up. Don't have to worry about it. So in this situation, I'm going to go on ahead and put this piece here. And I, I don't, here's my ruler. I do have a ruler. So three and a half by four. I'm going to put that down. Now, I will tell you that tomorrow's card that I post as a get well with a little gift card in there for some gas for doctors and things that they can use um, or whatever they choose to use there. I went with a very vanilla mat underneath. Instead of having this lemon lime twist, I used a very vanilla and then I didn't have to put anything here. And I, I didn't have to, it's light enough. You could have just written on it, but I think I wanted it white. So I'm gonna put a piece of white in there. And this is four by, morning, Jamie, no problem being light. We take you any time, three and three quarters. So Jim is in the process of making tomato juice today. You know, for not, he won't eat a tomato. I've tried. It won't work. He won't, he can't dent them. He don't want anything to do with it. But he likes tomato juice to, to use for recipes and he loves salsa and stuff. So, okay. So this is going to be, I have two more sets of mats to do. This one here will be for this piece here. So let's go on ahead and do it. And I am my piece here measures two and three eighths by four and an eighth. So this one should be two and a fourth by four. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. He won't eat cabbage cooked, etc. but he devours coleslaw. Go figure. Yeah, I know. It's the way it works. You can't do that. I just told Jimmy he can't have the TV. You can you can have the TV, but you have to mute it. Turn it up and back here and here. Oh, my gosh. So if he's going to go in and turn on the TV in the other room so he can watch it in the kitchen when muted, but he can hear it through the, the other room. So if it's too loud, guys... You'll have to tell me. What a guy. Okay. I want to make sure that my falalalas are going the same direction. So we're good there. And then I'm going to take this other one. And this one is going to measure two and five eighths by four and an eighth. So that will make this two and a half by four. And I wanted the contrast of the paper. So, so this week we're going to do treat bags and gift card holders. Just because you're giving a gift card doesn't mean it can't, you're just giving a gift card that's impersonal. It's not. Hey, how are you, Tina? He can have all the volume he needs if he's doing anything involving cooking. Don't say that, Mary. Of course, it is true. Yesterday we had ham balls and... I hate to call them this, but when I say it, everybody knows what I'm talking. Funeral potato, casserole, and corn, and it was delish, and I didn't have to do anything. Clean up. I did. I bought dessert. I, well, I really didn't buy dessert. I, I suggested dessert. You, you went along for dessert. Yes, yeah, right. We had, we had Dairy Queen. But I found the coupon, so, you know, give me credit for that. So You just wanted your dog to have... Yeah, Shelby went and had a pup treat. Pup, pup cup. She loved her pup cup. I got this stuck on my finger. 
All right. Better you than me. Yeah. Because if I stick it on my finger, I'm probably going to be bleeding. Probably so. Probably so. Okay. So there is the whole thing. He is a keeper. I call him my diamond in the rough. He's a gem, but sometimes when you look at him and he's got red and white and blue camo with striped shirt on top that's green, I'm like, yeah, that's a little rough looking, you know, but I've always called him my diamond in the rough. All right, let's get back to work. So here is the process that we did. So we've got all the mats on here. We've got the mat with the DSP. It's gonna lay over here, so you're gonna get this look on the card. But now I wanna show you, before we go on ahead and finish the pocket, we've got a couple of things we need to do. First, we're gonna use tear and tape, and we're gonna put that tear and tape right on the outside edge because it's just wide enough for that money or that gift card. I like gift cards. Always have, because I know I have lots of things that I need and I can just use it other ways. But before we do that, we want to get this. I need to get this punched out. And you know, we don't have a lot of circles. We have the big circle that goes with the stamp set, um, So Very Merry. But we don't have right now a lot of circle punches so if less you have the circle punches from some time ago you've got to get a little on the creative side so i went with the bumblebee and if i can take this and just slide this in here a little bit i get the round part of the bumblebee so i can use that let's look that's not the bumblebee that's the ladybug sorry let's go over here here is the bumblebee. I don't believe that one will work. That one will not work unless you, no, that doesn't work because you can't get to the body. But I'm not so sure this wouldn't work. I think that would work. I think that would work too. So let's go on ahead and let's do one of these, and I can go through all of those layers at one time, and there it is. So use your punches, look at what you've got, see if you can be creative and figure out how can I use this in such a way that it's gonna help me to um, do multiple things with it, okay? All right, so let's do this. And we're going to get this done. So the game plan for today is I am packing up all of the card kits for tomorrow's Christmas card class in person. We will be at church tomorrow to do those. Tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. There it is. That works perfect. And I have... You got your billfold on you, Jim? You don't, do you? Yeah, I got two dewy fingers. That's all right. Then don't worry about it. I got one here. I can just slide this in like so from my get well when I pulled it out. And look how neat that fits in there. Tucks in perfectly. So use your punches in a way that you can get multiple uses out of them. And let me put this back in for my other card. All right. Okay. So now let's go on ahead and decorate the front. So I wanted to have, and I need something that's going to hold that in place. So I'm going to pull that out. So I'm going to start first with this. I went with one of the banners from the, um, I think this is the Nested Essentials. So I'm going to start with that, and I cut the pieces for the Santa hat, and also for the piece that goes on his little top knot there, and the fur on his hat. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to hold it up here. Can you see the embossed 
lines. Yeah, you can. You can see the curves in here to make it look more realistic. That's really cute. Okay, and that's just as built into the tag. So we're gonna start with this. And let's put one right on the tip there. We're gonna do one here and one here and one here. And then I went with the um, Baker's Twine Essentials that comes with, I think it's gray granite, basic gray, black. I think, I say I think, I'm not sure. And I'm gonna go on ahead, because I got this hole there, I'm gonna go on ahead and give him a tie, a little bow tie. And I can do that after I put him on my, my pattern piece, on my banner. So if you are a football fan, which I know some of you are not, but if you were, a lot of injuries yesterday, a lot of key quarterback people that went out with injuries. And I saw last night the Bills player, they had to come on, and that was scary for them after about this time a year ago, wasn't it, Jim? Uh, no. Was it earlier in the year? No, it was later. Was it with DeMar, with the... DeMarcus. DeMar Hamlin. DeMar Hamlin. Um, that was such a scary game. And so here the Bills are playing again, and here comes the ambulance again on this on the field. Scary, scary, scary. But when he left, they already had said that he was feeling extre in his extremities. He had movement, so that's a good thing. All right. Um, I don't see any glue dots, so I think I'll just... Oh, there they are. They were there. So let me go on ahead and put a glue dot on the little fur piece. And do a couple side by side. And I'm going to pop that right on the tip like so. And then let's go on ahead and put, I'm going to go, I had it this way. I think I like it better this way. So let's go and put some glue dots on the top part of the fur. Okay, and I think that balances a little better because this is off a little and this is off a little. And then I have a little half inch strip is all I'm gonna do. And we have the words, no peeking. Now, I'm really bad about cutting these apart. She's really bad about peeking too. Yeah, I am. I'm, I, everybody knows I peek. Right, broker. Yeah, he tried to anyway. So anyhow, it goes in there and it fits. But I, I had to separate it because I didn't want that. I didn't want it that wide. That was gonna be more like three quarters of an inch or an inch piece of paper and I didn't want that. So I am bad, I will cut things apart. So, you know, it's still usable. It will go back together, but now I can use it and I can spread it out a little more. So I'm gonna put the word no. I've always been bad about peeking. Even when I didn't mean to peek, I find something. So no peeking. And I'm simply gonna cut this off and cut this off. Okay, you ever have problems with that? The whole key to cutting those off to make sure that the angle is right is to cut it, don't move your hand, move the paper up, and cut it again. The main thing is don't move your hand because when you move your hand, then your, your angle is off, okay? All right, so let's go on ahead and put this on with a couple of 
dimensionals. And we're gonna put that on here. Slide that up. Now let's go on ahead and put that on here with dimensionals. And we're not too far from being done. So there will not be a Facebook Live tomorrow night. Um, you'll want it on Sat on Wednesday night because tomorrow night is my Christmas card class. And so we will be moving it from Tuesday to Wednesday. And Pam and I will be doing greeting card and um, gift card holders and treats again. And if my plans hold, I'm adding something new to my schedule about every two weeks. I'm going to do a Facebook Live class. One that's available, you can watch online. And I will be it available. I will be using one stamp, um, one stamp set. And I will be making like three cards with that stamp set. And then any online orders of $35 or more, I give you, um, I mail the, the card kits to you that you can make them on your own. So um, keep that in mind. It will be, so if you pop in and you go, where did she come from? Why are you on on this night? Well, guess what? I'm going to be trying to add that about every two weeks. We'll see. I said, I'm going to try. There is the key word. Try. All right. So we have another piece of paper. And I did run this, but I decided I wanted to keep them both the same. So I didn't want to have, this is fine, but I went with this straight piece that is angled. And then I have this oval piece. And I'm like, nah, I don't like that. So I'm going to go with a different look for it. Okay. And it's going to say for you. And again, hold your hand still. Move the paper up. There it is. The angle is there. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on a piece of red. And I'm going to trim it out. You know, if you put it on one side really close, you don't have to cut that. And that wasn't very good. better. So Mary, you do gift cards too. I, you know, let them get what they want. Nora has reached that point. We gave her a nice um, bill in her card and she was so excited because now she's at nine. She's ready to go and, and do some shopping and stuff. So she had to tell us what she bought with it. So we're going to have to follow up with her on that. But, okay. And so now I'm going to put this here with some dimensionals. And we are done. I wish. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. And I want to make sure that it's over here just enough that it will hold that in place. And there's my card, guys. There it is. Isn't that cute? No peeking. That got kind of crooked. I can see that, but I don't know that I can get that straight. And I'm not going to bend it. So there's that. And then you can open it up this way. We use the hexagon punch instead. Remember on this one, I used the um, ladybug punch and I just went with the, the rumpus of the ladybug and was able to get that thumb holder. It's a cute, cute card. This is a cute way to give a gift card. And let me tell you, even if it is a gift card, it's still practical and people still like the fun way of doing things. So there it is, guys. That's my cards for today. Tomorrow on my blog, I have a completely different card in the same manner, but it is a get well one, and it will have a completely different, more serious look. It's not, it's not whimsical like this. Oh, I forgot. We need bling. We can't leave it without bling. So look, 
these here, adhesive back glitter sequins are so cool. Now, I know that they've been out of stock for a while, but the best thing about them is they are flat. I love it. So I'm gonna put a couple here, the white ones. So they don't make any bulk to your um, to your mailing when you send it, okay? And I still think I'm gonna put one here. Let's just put one down here on this section of his hat. Okay, there it is, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those. Come back, I'll have more for you. If you have not thought about the, um, the starter kit, it truly is the best deal. Another thing, we're still taking retreat. We are over halfway filled with capacity, and I've had several people who said that they're, they're coming, but if you don't have a form or you haven't emailed me a text or something that said, put me on the list, you're not on the list. I need, I need more than that for confirmation. So please, don't just say, I, I'm on the list. No, text me. I need it in writing. Do that. Fill out your form. Whatever. All right, guys. Take care. God bless. Say a prayer for Jim so he doesn't cuss with the tomatoes. Take care. No. Oh. So I don't stick my knife in the finger. He doesn't want to stick his knife in his finger. So Just say a prayer for that. Say I'm sorry. All righty. Take care. Bye-bye.